Hi there, this is uh, Coach Sean here from Learning Out of the Box and thanks so much for tuning in. Today we are going to cover one of the PSLE 2021 question and it's about this uh, tap A flowing into the tank and then tap B with water flowing out of the tank. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so in this question, I just want to show you the words and text and the intention for this is to support our LB kids, especially the P5s who are taking their PSRE next year. And in fact, my eldest daughter, she's taking her PSRE next year too. And we are all um, in the same boat. Yeah, so I just want to make sure that whatever I prepared um, is something that is it helps children. And again, I'm not NIE trained. I am not officially trained, not a ex, an ex-teacher. Uh, what I'm doing here is just to support fellow busy parents who also coach their kids. And again, being a parent myself who don't have any official training, what I want to do is just to... Um, what we have is just the information that we see over here. And then we just have to take them head on and then go line by line, word by word, and then helping our children to make sense of the question. All right, so here goes. Okay, so remember our KCNSU, which is keywords, concepts, numbers, statements, units. And again, if you do hear any sound at the back, uh, background noise, I'm home, stuck at home with three daughters. Yeah, so... Parents, you know how I feel, yeah, with children running around you and you're trying to do a decent uh, video conference or sharing. Okay, anyway, um, there's no best time. Let's start. Okay, so tap A flows into the tank. So it's a plus. When you see into, it's a plus. While tap B flow out, it's a minus. Okay, then, then okay, another color. At 2 p.m., tap a started filling up the tank at 4.2 liters per minute. And this is under rate. Okay, so it's 4.2 liters per minute. And then later, five minutes later, tap B was turned on. Okay, so part A we have at 2.15 p.m. The tank was half filled. Okay, with water. Okay, so... Again, uh, let me just draw out a simple model or diagram. And then we have this little box. Okay, it's a 2D box. And the reason why I like to draw it in a 2D way is so that uh, it's easier for a child to process, especially under uh, time pressure, as I'm stressed. The less info, the better. Again, we want to just take on what is relevant. Okay, so tap A at 4.2 liters per minute. Okay, so now I'm going through a process which is just, just using the info. Um, I'm not solving it yet. I am just filling in the numbers, just like how when we do model drawing, we don't solve it yet. We just fill in the numbers. Okay, okay. So instead of drawing a 3D, what I'll do is I'll just Take the volume and take uh, length, thumbs, breath, thumbs, height. Okay, again, no pressure in finding the full volume. Again, um, when we are young, we are so wired into getting the answer. But again, um, there's no need to just write down the info first. So at home, being a parent who teach, we can just get our children to process the info without feeling the pressure of having to solve it. Oh, okay. Okay, so now let's solve part A. What was the rate of water flowing out of B? Hmm, that's a very good question. So we put a question mark and then we put part A and then we put liters per minute. And the question mark is just to give me some sense of direction what I need to solve. Yeah, without that, without this, I need to always be looking at the question again and I think it's... I can better make use of the time trying to solve the question. Okay, so now, hmm, 
That's a very good question. And let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. I think we can only find the rate of the water flowing out of the out. That means it's a minus um, of B only when B is on. And this is the place where it starts happening. Yeah. So to reach here, we have to start from here. So I would say that this is a start. Okay. So I'm just processing how a primary school child will process. Maybe I'm slower. Uh, some kids are really fast, so I just want to process at a uh, and at an average speed. Again, my child is average, so I just want to do this video for them, and then when they watch it again, they will understand. Okay, so now, um, go line by line. Okay, so at two p.m., we have the tab A. So tab A, we have the rate, which is four point two liters per minute. And five minutes have passed. So after five minutes, it's just a walking step per line. So we have a volume of the water, which is 4.2 times five. Okay, and that's is a uh, 21 liters, right? Okay. Okay. And of course, all this we know that it's in CM. Let's write it down first without feeling the pressure of trying to solve it. <clears throat> okay, we only get the final number if we think that and uh, that is important to use a number to solve the next step. Okay, so now at five, five minutes later, tab B was on. Okay, so now, we find to look at how we process information. The top part is gone. And what we have is just over here. Okay, so I need to work on which line? I need to work on this line. Okay, this line. Okay, so five minutes later on, and then we have this. Okay, half fill. Yeah. Okay. So what does half field means? Okay. So at 2.15 PM, half field will be half of the volume. And that's is half times. Okay. So now it's to activate this part. And we have 55 times 20 times 30, which is equals to one six five zero zero cm cube. Okay, then tap B on. Ten minutes have passed. Okay, so somehow something happened. Yeah, can you see that? In fact, a The amount of water after five minutes was so much. Then it dropped to so much. Hmm. So what does that mean? Does it mean that the tap B's rate is much faster such that whatever that you put in, they are all um, flowing out of the tank much faster than what you can put in. Okay, so I think this part you need to explain to your child because, okay, for example, let's say um, this is a little bit of water going in, maybe just a one liter stream. Yeah. And if you put in this amount of water without any hole, the understanding is your water level will rise, right? Okay. But if let's say there's a hole here and it's a little hole, your water will still rise up. Because whatever is flowing out is still uh, okay, yeah? What is flowing in is still more, correct? Okay, now, what if your hole actually gets bigger? Like it's a very big hole. And whatever you fill in, it doesn't even have enough time to rise. And because of this big, giant hole, whatever you put in before it can rise, actually more water is flowing out. Yeah, so... so um. 
I think this part, uh, do not assume that every child can understand. And I think it requires some form of visualization. Yeah, so, so this hole is represented by this tab B. And this tab B is like super big tab, giant tabs, and it's flowing out much faster such that the water level actually drops. All right, so I hope this part actually helps. Okay. Okay, so now, so what is the drop? Okay, so the drop will be the drop in the volume is um, in 10 minutes, yeah? So in 10 minutes. Okay, because it's a rates question, so, so there's some form of uh, time which we need to take into consideration as well. Okay, so conversion of 21 liters to 21,000 cm cube. Okay, so your child will need to do some conversion here. And it's like a paper one question. Okay, so we have 4,500 um, cm cube. Okay, so now, what does this mean? Okay, do not assume that kids understand. Yeah, this question is easy and hard in the sense that I think uh, it's not a conventional type of rate question that you can just, you're just given the rates of each tab and then you do your own addition or subtraction depending on which one is more, which one is less. But in, 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 this, in this case, it's about like a reverse, yeah? So, so the rate of A is lower, yeah? Then the rates of um, B, such that whatever water is flowing out is much faster than the water flowing in. Okay, so let me see if I can squeeze in some form of um model here. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. Tap A. Tap B. Okay, so. Remember, your tap B is like a super giant tap, such that the water out is actually more. Yeah? And that's 4,000. This is in 10 minutes, okay? All right. Okay, so now, What does in one minute means? Okay, so in one minute, we have A, we have B. Your difference here is 4500 zero, zero divided by 10, which is 450 cm cube. Okay. Okay, so, so meaning that your, again, I think I can't stress this enough. Uh, it must be like a super big tap such that uh, it actually acid, yeah? It's faster. So, meaning that uh, A is given, right? A is at 4.2 and which is 4,200. Okay. So, we have uh, 4,650 because this plus this. Okay, so, so, Okay, let's pause for a while. Let's not rush. Yeah, let's, let's not rush. Okay, so now let's really understand this part. Okay, can you see that tab B is much faster? I mean, the water flowing out of tab B is much faster such that the water level is going down instead, even though A is on as well. And it's, it's flowing in such a rate that at every one minute, there's a drop of 450 cm cube. And in 10 minutes, there's a total drop of this. That's why you experience this, this, this drop in 10 minutes. Yeah, so even though it's like an illusion, yeah, it's like even though water is going in, but actually the water level is going down because this is a, a, a fatter, uh, a faster tap, lah, okay? Okay, so I think I really uh, just want to reach out to kids who are average. Um, because I was like this when I was younger. Uh, some people just explain so fast that I can't understand and I thought that I'm I'm uh, not that smart. Or sometimes I thought that I'm stupid. Yeah, okay, so so I have um, 
always wanted to explain a simpler way that even parents and children can understand. Can? Okay, so, so this is the, the answer for B, uh, sorry, for A, and the answer will be, okay, uh, they didn't, okay, rates normally we leave it in liters. Okay, so we have this, this answer. Again, is the answer important? Yes, no. I think the, un the understanding is more important for your child to relate, understand, and to apply the same method to any similar question, okay? Okay, so for that's part, that's for part A, and let's go to B. Okay, so let's, let's go to B. Again, if you need the part A, you can always re rewind, yeah? Okay, so right now, okay, so right now, um, what fraction of the tank was filled by 2.30 p.m.? So we have this part, right? Okay, we have this part. So again, let's move them by uh, phases. Again, this one, it will be another extra 50 minutes. Yeah, so 50 minutes later, yeah, at, at uh, 2.15 p.m. So what we'll do is, Remember, we have the 450 in front. Yeah, so what happens now? 450 times 15, which is 6,750 cm cubed. And I put here a minus. Why? Because water is flowing out faster. Yeah. And previously, at 215, it's also half filled. And from A, from A, the volume is actually 16500 cm cube. And remember, water is still flow, uh, flowing out. Yeah, so I think this part of like memory must remember, you need to, you can let this minus replace, yeah? Or maybe just put out flow. Doesn't matter, just for you to understand and remember. So in fact, the amount of water that is filled, yeah, filled, at 2.30 p.m. is a 16500 circle, 6750. This is a minus, okay, this is a minus. So we have 9750 and this is what is left. Again, the tap B, if you can imagine, it's a fatter tap, tap than A, so the water that is flowing out through A, uh, through B is, is much more, okay? And if you can sit next to the tank, you can see water level dropping instead of going up, even though both, uh, in, even though A is on and uh, and of course B is on, it's on as well and water is flowing out faster, like a big gush of water going out. Yeah, something like, like this water is going out rather than like little tiny stream going in. Okay, so this is A and this is B. Yeah, so for parents who want to teach your kid, you can use lines to represent and then this is maybe just two lines and maybe you can draw like uh, multiple lines out. Yeah, to, to really help your child to visualize. Mm, okay. Okay. So, so, um, okay. So, fraction will be, okay. So, the total volume. Okay. So, the total volume. Can't remember if I did the, the thing, uh, calculation will be 55 times 20 times 30, which is, Three three zero zero zero, yeah, and of course the fraction wise, okay, your fraction. Okay, I can hear my kid crying. Uh, my youngest, she's only four, turning four in October. Okay, so I'm gonna speed up a bit. Okay, so simplest form using your calculator, will be like that. Okay, okay. Um, if I made any mistake, please let me know. Uh, not easy to do a video solution with three kids running around you. Yeah, but again, I think this is somehow uh, makes me able to relate to children under time pressure, exam stress, and so many things happening around the kids um, while they are going through the paper, yeah? 
Okay, so I hope this helped. And then uh, let me know if you have any comments. Okay, take care and see you. Bye-bye.